Welcome back to my road to completion guide for control. This is episode 21. Go ahead and select the third post-it note. That's gonna allow you to pick up a mission called scan the forms. And then we have two printers that we're gonna come over here, interact with. All you have to do is just keep pressing square. That will allow you guys to keep scanning those forms. And once we're done, we're gonna go pick up some mail and I'll show you that in just a second. So as soon as you're done scanning the forms, turn around and run off in the opposite direction. You'll eventually see a red light. That'll let you know exactly where the mail is going to be. And then all you have to do is deliver that mail to the director's office. Are you sure you are not lost? Maybe you can oh, great. yourself into I'm just waiting for my mail. Please, take the outgoing mail as well. Thank you. Oh, I've forgotten something. I can't think. Oh, I'm lost. Oh, where are you? I can't feel anything. I... I don't want to be alone here. Where am I? What is this? Why won't it end? Wake up, please. I want to go home. Keep trying. You are getting closer. We've been invaded. I need to go inside. I need to keep moving. I have a plan. This is all inside my head. Now this time around, we don't want to pick any task off the board, okay? Just run over here, grab the mail, carry it over to the director's office, and then I'll explain to you guys what to do next. I will fight this. I will find a way to push them out. <laughs> Welcome back. You are my new I chose you. I need my gun. Time. You are a worm through time. The so the next step is to make it back to the Ocean View Motel, except this time when we get there, there's not going to be a puzzle. All we have to do is ring the bell one time, go in the third door, grab the key, and then go across the hallway. There's going to be a little cutscene, then I'll come back in with some commentary and explain to you guys how to make it to the slide projector. They're gone. Dead, I can't. Feel you, I can't. This is what Dylan wanted all along. But there is something, I can feel it, but I don't know what. The motel is a place of power, of change, a place to pass through, connecting everything. This is a. <laughs> So in order for us to turn off the slide projector, we have to make it through this platforming sequence. And it seems really easy at first. It just looks like you're just supposed to hop from platform to platform until you get to the slide projector. But it's very misleading, okay? Some of the platforms, if you land on them, will start draining your health. So the best way to make it through this section is to go ahead and levitate and then make it to this wall that I'm currently at now and then slowly descend and as soon as you clear the bottom of that platform, start using your air evade and that way you guys make it all the way across to the other side. You see that? Very easy. That way you don't have to worry about those platforms and all that stuff. When you make it to the slide projector, interact with it and then we're going to hit the final sequence of the campaign. So the final combat sequence of the game is extremely long. It's broken down into two parts and there's a ton of enemies that you have to kill. Just know this guys, if you fall off these platforms or if the enemies kill you, you're going to have to come back and repeat this whole combat sequence over again. 
Now keep in mind that you're going to be killing enemies in one to three hits. You guys are extremely strong at this point, but the problem is going to be the fact that you guys are taking on so many enemies at the same time. So the strategy for taking on this many enemies at once is twofold, okay? Number one, you always want to make sure that you keep your character near the edge of the platform. You're going to be on these islands, okay? So you're going to be able to fall off on all four sides. But you want to keep yourself on one of those sides. That pushes all the enemies out in front of you. You don't have to worry about anybody sneaking up from behind you and getting a cheap shot. And number two is to keep the high ground. You can see that I'm not too elevated at this point, but I'm elevated enough that if these enemies started firing on me, I could just back up a little bit. And remember, that decreases the angles that the enemy has on you. And then, of course, they won't be able to hit you with their gunfire because you're further back into the map and the platform will actually be blocking their bullets. Now, as soon as I clear out the second combat area, I'm going to take a death on purpose. And some of you are going to have to do the same, okay? There's a trophy that we have to unlock at this point called Interdimensional Defender. We get that for killing 1,000 hits. So basically, what we're going to do is turn these last two combat areas into a farming spot so we can get our 1,000 kills, okay? So you're going to clear out this first combat area, move to the second combat area, clear it out, and then die if you need to if the trophy hasn't popped yet. Come back to the beginning, rinse and repeat until you guys are able to pop that trophy. After that trophy pops, go ahead and interact with your brother. Then you're going to be taken back to the director's office, and that's when the trophy Take Control is going to pop. You get that for completing Mission 10. And that's going to be enough to wrap up episode 21. Guys, meet me back here in episode 22. We still have to defeat Mr. Tomasi. And then for some of you, you're going to be picking up your platinum trophy. For the rest of you, you're going to come back for episode 23. I'm going to show you some more hidden locations, and you'll be getting your platinum then. Hopefully, you guys have enjoyed this episode. Thanks to all my patrons supporting me over on Patreon. I appreciate your help. You're truly keeping this channel alive. I'll see you guys right back here in the next one. Be good.
first set. 